Good morning. Okay, look, I know what I said. I know what I said. This was given to me. And you know what I see? I see carnivore with a croissant on top. Eggs, cheese, and meat. Yay! Wowie, 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 wowie. The clouds moving. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Look how beautiful, simply divine. But not as beautiful as you. Don't let anybody say you don't matter. Because you do. Don't let anybody say you're not beautiful. Because you are. Don't let anybody say that you can't do it. Because you can. Always remember that. Yo, 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 yo. You know the drill. New Music Friday. Let's get it. New Music Friday. First up, we got Billie Eilish with Hit Me Hard and Soft. Now, I'ma just say, Billy is so talented and so young at the same time, which is amazing. This album sounds like the cover art. Great production as well. Shout out to her brother. Um, I think his name's Phineas. Feels like you're underwater. It's amazing. Billy is showing her versatility in this album. It's great. She has a beautiful voice. When she's not doing her soft voice and she's kind of almost belting, it sounds great. It sounds amazing. It's almost unrecognizable because I'm so used to hearing Billie Eilish. I'm not used to hearing loud, I guess. And when she got louder, I was like, oh, wow. I like that a lot. She should do that more. My favorite song is L'Amour de Ma Vie. I don't know how to say it, but that one, it's really cool. It has like a jazzy blues type of vibe. Her voice fits so well with the production. It's great. And in the middle of the song, beat switch. There's a beat switch. And then she comes in with a crap ton of auto tune, which surprisingly sounds really cool. And I'm pretty sure that's like the first time Billie Eilish has used autotune because I heard that she doesn't use it, which is very respectable. With her voice autotune the frick out, it sounds pretty freaking cool. I can't lie. But yeah, this whole album, so calming, so nice. Go check it out. Next, we got Zayn with Stardust. Now, this song is like running through a field at sunset. Very calming, very cool, very chill. And it's Zayn, okay? Y'all may or may not know this, but I was a One Directioner. Mm-hmm. They're my favorite group to this day, Okay. Nobody was touching them. I had to put my boy Zayn on the playlist, finally. I think this is the first time he's dropped this year, so, you know, it's about time. Great song, cool vibe, check it out. Next, we got Sasha Alex Sloan with Me Again. This album is so great. It's so amazing. Very talented artist. She knows how to hit you in the right there. She knows how to hit you right there. I may or may not have cried listening to this. Um, you know, just saying. Great album. She has a beautiful voice. She has a very calming voice. It feels like home. Yeah, this album is very comforting, very soft. Definitely something to listen to when you're just chilling. And I hope that she just keeps growing because she's too underrated right now. But yeah, amazing album. My favorite song is Cowboys Cry. Go check it out. Next, we got Russ and Black with Working On Me. Now, these guys are two of my favorite artists. This song is very cool, very chill, very smooth, very catchy chorus. I love the beat. I love the guitar. I really appreciate artists like Russ and Black because they know how to rap and sing. They're both very talented and they mix very well. Now this song is five minutes long, very long song, but it doesn't feel like that. It's really good. It kind of just glides its way all the way through. I can't see how anyone would dislike this song, so go check it out. Next we got A Boogie With The Hoodie with Better Off Alone. Now I'm gonna be honest, I've never really listened to A Boogie, but this album kind of put me on, I can't lie. Of course I listened to Drowning and look back at it, but this album kind of made me a fan. It's very catchy. Very cool beats, cool samples. It has a song with Future in it, which I think is my favorite song. And it has a song with Thug, <laughs> Young Thug. And man, I, I heard his voice, I was like, man, nostalgia. His voice, the ad-libs, I was like, oh my gosh. Man, Free Thug, man, Free Thug. A Boogie is a very cool artist, underrated, and I kind of slept on him, so won't be doing that anymore. Go check it out. And last but not least, we have Joshua Bassett with The Golden Years. This song is a very heartwarming, but sad, bittersweet, song about love and heartbreak. It's about him reminiscing on his relationship in the past and just reflecting on how things went. And it feels like summer. And it's definitely something that I'll be playing in a car midday on a sunny day. It's kind of like a road trip song. It's very cool. He is very underrated. Go check him out. Great song. Alrighty, folks, that is your new Music Friday. Bye-bye. Anyways, that'll do it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for simply clicking on the video. If you watched all the way through, I appreciate that. Thank you. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all so, 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 so much. And I hope you had an amazing day today. I hope you smiled today. And if not, I hope you made someone else's day a little brighter. But that'll do it, y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video. God bless. Peace out. Ooh.